Hey everyone, uh, I am live today with Call of Cthulhu. I have been waiting a long time for this. I'm a huge HP uh, Lovecraft fan. I've been keeping an eye on this game for, you know, since they announced it. Um, and I'm super pumped. Um, this is from Cyanide Studios, Focus Home Interactive, and it's based on the classic role-playing game by Chaosium. Uh, which I have several editions of at this point. Um, everything seems to be working right. Um, I'll let the game do a lot of the introductions, largely because I can't remember some of the names all that well. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go investigate the disappearance of a family on a strange on a uh, on a, a ba strange island, and uh, see how mad we go along the way. Boston, 1924. Edward Pierce, veteran of the First World War, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He's now a private detective who has trouble finding a case able to lift him from his toper. torpor. Pierce must find a new case quickly or risk losing his license. Yes, uh, um, investigators are a common thing in Call of Cthulhu in, you know, games. But there weren't many investigators in the original stories. Um, poets, artists, scientists, um, historians, but investigators not so much. Ow. I've got my everything fixed with my headset. I didn't realize when I swapped controllers it would change the audio mix. And that was the problem I had yesterday with it after the controller problem. But everything should be working fine now. And of course, we're in Boston. Uh, stones throw away from Lovecraft Country. Imagine you told me to press A right where the Twitch bar is. Yep. If I am mad, it is a mercy. May the gods pity the man who, in his callousness, can remain sane to the hideous end. H.P. Lovecraft. Fitting quote for this. Oh. <laughs> Dropped us in the deep end. This is all nice. Oh good, the game saved. That means I'm probably going to die and have to come back to this spot. Okay. Lots of fish everywhere. Oh, the game sounds great. This, this music is just plenty of freaky. Imagine I can't go this way, which is why. Yep. Okay. To the dark and creepy area. Uh. It seems like I should go toward the door, so I'm gonna go this way and take a look. Must light up some items in order to inspect them. Okay. Easy enough. Bolt cutters. Those will come in handy. Oh. Seems like I can use to keep certain some things at bay. Wonder how that works. It automatically uses applicable tools. That's nice. In my wake, hold the law. Fate inescapably draws you on. Oh, that's nice. Worst part about having nice headphones is since they cover my ears, uh, like I get a little itchy every once in a while, so I'm got to stop and mess with them.
Boy, I do not like all the. What a uh, huge offering. I don't know which entity is talking at this point. I can venture a guess. Actually, if I were to venture a guess, it probably wouldn't be the obvious one. Don't fight. You have been chosen. Well, that's nice. Already been written. Faces cultists. But perhaps you will attempt to change your destiny. Be nice. Ah! Yeah, if you don't want a gun at the cultists, you should shoot them. <laughs> Second, I need. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to adjust my mic back up a little bit, because um, it was a little harder to tell right there. Okay, that should be a little louder. Let's make sure everything's... Um, I might have to adjust that up because I had to turn it down for Red Dead. Because, um, yeah, with my headset, I can't, I can't tell the difference on my laptop as much anymore, so... Well, let's check out... Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. Husband oh. couldn't understand it. Yeah. Kept calling me weeks after investigation been closed. Yeah, some uh, unfortunate people have that happen. I've known people. The good old that story of blackmail in a speakeasy. Huh. Bar owner who hired me didn't like the way I closed his case, but when you already let you're already outside the law. There's not a lot you can do against a private detective who's got proof against you. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. That is the library of somebody belonging in Call of Cthulhu, that's for sure. Let's see what else is around. It's been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, and this is, you know, where we're going to be able to adjust our um, points uh, put into things. But this is very much kind of classic Call of Cthulhu. Because if you look below each of these pieces, there's a percentage. And that's how the um, system Call of Cthulhu used it was a D100 system. In the case of investigation, uh, you wanted to roll under whatever that number was, because that means it falls within your realm of uh, uh, your realm of knowledge. Well, we got a call. Let's see what's going on. I'm listening. Private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that That's right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Okay, I have eight points. Each character point allows you to improve the score of a skill. So what do I want to boost? Let's see, I've got eight. Um, I'm gonna boost 
psychology. I'm going to put some points into occultism, which will help me discover what's going on with some of this. I think that's a good starter. Yes. Nice. On a related matter, may I raise a sensitive question? What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're uh. worth not losing your license. Show yourself True. worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, are you still... That was nice. I'm coming. Oh, that didn't match up. <laughs> oh. Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. The lip sync's not You're the You're free greatest. to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl. She is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Yeah. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But the painting you you're holding no suggests something else. I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Somebody or creative if, for on sure. on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic. A rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. Notebook details, current objective to open it. The dog, let's see, uh, this is going on. Okay, let's go through everything. The doctor can well repeat to me that I'm no long I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay. But I know that if I stop, the memories will return. One of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. Despite the treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams, but they're different, unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable and ancient depths. A nameless creature is calling me. A strange picture painted by Sarah Hawkins a short while before her tragic death was sent to her father just after the artist died. He's convinced that she is the sender. He brought me the painting so that I could examine it. Stephen Webster, the wealthy, wealthy industrialist, came to my office. He wants me to reopen the Sarah Hawkins case, named after his daughter, who died in a fire with her, all her family. I must examine the documents to be compiled. He compiled in order to know more about the case. Well, let's look at the painting. What's this symbol on the man's chest? It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. Looks like, you know, a woman fighting up against something. Clearly, most likely, one of the cultists. 
took this. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. Some of it's unreadable, but I can make out part of the address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater. Or police report. It says the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole f claimed the whole family. Police decided on a domestic accident, but they nevertheless insist Sarah Hawkins mentally on Sarah Hawkins' mental frailty. Why? Press cutting. An article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of Darkwater, who lived a recluse life there with their only son, Simon. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? The meaning could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, late. can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Let's see. Uh... Darkwater? Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the Be secret helpful. regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. Oh, you say that, but, you know, I'm not gonna like this. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had... Visions, everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? Maybe she did. What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am Rarely aware is of it. that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. Uh, let's see. Well, got the information, so... I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Yep. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. Yep. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. Hope so. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Yeah. Darkwater. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. Dense work named to interns and young practitioners. First volume lists all the illnesses known in the civilized world. Details symptoms and suitable treatment. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. Uh, nothing. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. <laughs> I used nice. to be an avid reader. I can open that drawer, but nothing in it. Uh, aha. Dark water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. 
Darkwater Island has been inhabited since the 14th century and is still rich with the many memories left by its lost tribes. But don't let the romanticism of these moving evidences of such naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were. Gigantic creature still ornates the walls of long abandoned caves. Was it a sea or a dream god? No one knows. Uh, but today's in but today's inhabitants, the sons and daughters of the proud whale hunters, still remember the mysterious and tumultuous story of their small land off the coast of Massachusetts. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. Well, let's make our way out. Pierce took the Hawkins case. The cursed artist is uh, da, 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 da. only shipping the okay, This is all stuff that we know. Ah, oh, that was quick. First achievement already. Accepting the Sarah Hawkins case. But yeah. Um, so far, it feels right. The lip sync on the... I don't know if they're pre-rendered scenes. Um, is a bit off. But the voice work's not bad. And it looks good. That opening dream was a... Uh, of the right caliber. The fact that he's already having the dreams does not bode well for him. But yeah, it's kind of interesting the fact that, you know, while we're kind of within a stone's throw of it, Darkwater is a wholly original place. We're not actually in previously established Love uh, Lovecraft country. Uh, although we're definitely within the realm of it, for sure. So yes, see about dark the dark water port, where they're not going to be too keen to give me the information I want. Yeah, I imagine the percentage I got in occultism is going to help generate a little bit more uh knowledge of some of this stuff, but I think I've already put a hit into my sanity. I have to check my journal once everything comes up. So I don't know, obviously that's standard occultism. I don't know uh, if they combined it with um, Cthulhu mythos knowledge. Because in the traditional system, you could have up to a maximum sanity of 100. But every point you put into Cthulhu Mythos knowledge, you knocked a point off. So if I had 10% knowledge of Cthulhu myth in the Cthulhu Mythos skill, I only have a maximum sanity of 90, which is not great. Well, okay, that's not bad. But you want to be able to identify that stuff more, you're going to need the uh, uh, skill. You want the skill, you're going to have to risk your neck. Which is always nice. Refresh that. Oh. That's some fog. Apparently we found a ship. Ah, uh, we finally reached the title screen. Let's see how crazy we can make Pierce. He looks like he's human, so that's that's a good sign. Probably one of the last friendly faces I'm gonna see. Well, that looks pleasant.
the cellar. Oh, that's... Uh, that's a great name. Yes, when you reference ancient sea monsters from Greek myth uh, to name your ship. We made it to dark water. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you. Captain. It's a nice place. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. This it seems you know like, what? uh... Go have a drink of the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. That's nice. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. That'll be handy. I'm going for a look around the docks. Okay, I've got a new point I can put into things. Um, let's see. Oh, I should look at that. Okay, so right now the only mental trauma I have is the nightmares. So that's not bad. Uh, spot hidden. Okay. Anything that that'll be a good one to improve. Uh guess we're gonna validate that. Let's, let's go check out the whale carcass. Let the police do their work. Hey Sullivan, can't you go any faster? You see how old this thing is. If we force it too much, we'll break everything. I try and pull the carcass off that. there. But it's only a fish. A fish? You've got no idea. Don't badmouth what you don't know. Or you'll pay for it for sure. Oof. Okay, that's enough. Step back and let us do our job. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. They seem to be... Very agitated about a dead animal. <laughs> You're telling me. These fools think that putting the whale back in the water will bring about the end of the world. <laughs> oh, that's a bit much. If only you knew. They only listen to Captain Fitzroy. And not always. And you. What brings you to our island? I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36. Darkwater Harbor. <laughs> I like you, so I'll be frank with you. Don't go near the place. Don't try to get in. Why? Because I told you so. Learn to accept some friendly advice. Now, That's nice. please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something... The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist yeah. would know. You can't understand. You're not safe. Oh, I failed the sign. skill test. There's something coming. Something real bad. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Oh, it's nice having the full uh, uh, three-dimensional audio with my headset. I love it. Well, let's check out the bar. Prohibition is just a joke around here. Yeah. That suits me fine. Prohibition was a joke in a lot of places. Hey, you get down. Crazy dog. Oh, 
That was very welcoming. But I expected that. Hey, oh. be careful. Well, now. Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. Strength test, eloquence. You saw what happened. He's the troublemaker. Oh, you're a true mainlander. A real princess. You strut around with your la da ways, and then, as soon as the pressure arises, you start squealing. You don't have what it takes to drink my whiskey. You've got to earn it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right to answer or not. Fair enough. The stranded whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, yeah. steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. Fair enough. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the like mainland mention her name. for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Uh, you don't dare say a thing because you respect their memory. But that doesn't mean that you don't have a lot on your mind. <laughs> You're not a P.I. for nothing. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what it's worth, though. But Mrs. Hawkins, she went to see her doctor very often. She was sick. Ah, I shouldn't have mentioned it to you. Forget it. Uh... Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, Who can paint such things? Is that Fair how enough. she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. What I did see was definitely... Her vision. Was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. True. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? I've got what I need. Anything else? Let's see. Uh... Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? Second person mentioned First that. off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Well, Screams, now. that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. Yeah. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Uh, da, 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 da. I didn't That's expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell no. Fair enough. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. Oh, yeah? That must have been before you came looking for a fight in my bar. Oh, come on. Because of a little tussle. Drinking it here is a privilege, and I grant the privilege to whoever I want. 
Fair enough. Anything else? Uh, let's see. I found out about Dark Water. Uh, yeah. Okay. That'll be all for now. Guess that's it. So I gotta talk to Fitzroy. You, however, caught my attention. What you looking at, stranger? The clientele is predominantly male. Tell me something I don't know. I meant nothing by it. I'm just wondering what a woman like you is doing in this flea trap. And I'm wondering what could be going through the head of the chump who goes to disturb her. Let me drink, stranger. Okay. She's not ready to talk to me yet, because I've seen her in some of the ads, too. For now, let's go talk to Fitzroy. Charles Hawkins was a heavy drinker. And a debtor. Mm. Interesting. Oh, and sixty-eight dollars. It's no small amount. I've brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. Let's see. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. But that's all I'll get from them. A few dates are still eligible. 1890, 1907, a partial date. This document's blacked out. We don't want this information to be hidden. Well, that's nice. What's this? Broken. This place seems half abandoned. Boy, that's how a lot of this stuff. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. Terms of our agreement are clear. Keep your men under control. You cannot afford to provoke us. No need to answer this message. Just make your payment to the carrier. Cat. Take a look around before I talk to the captain. Priscilla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. Yeah. This blackboard hasn't been used in a long while. Ooh. Learning a medicine volume two. Ethics and the practice of medical staff. So I got more points in medicine, which is handy. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. Uh, da -da. he has a wooden leg. Speaking well, of, Macarbra souvenir. Let's go talk to the captain, then. So now he's being threatened. Hello? Fishing equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. No surprise. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale, even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on Darkwater. Tell well, me what I can do to help you. Uh... Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having uh -huh. countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates, as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that Good the point. dates have some meaning? Dates can always have. I know that Charles Hawkins was descended from a family of ship owners, and the island's fishing industry was hit badly. Indeed, we specialized in whaling. But no whalers went out to sea after the miraculous catch of 1847. So where did the Hawkins family get its money? 
Well, from what Charles inherited, I presume. Although, these dates on the manifests could indicate that he had contracts of another kind. With whom, I wonder? Good question. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Okay. Understood. You know where it is. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Oh. I was looking at your photograph. The one of the man in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? Fitting. John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. Already did. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yeah. yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. True. Killer whales don't have many known predators. That's no. true. And normally, they're not found around here. But, um, <laughs> you're gonna take me for a fool. Give it a try. Have you heard about the depths? Trenches that plunge into the earth and that shelter creatures unlike any other? You're That's talking about That's definitely mythology. true. <laughs> Indeed, you're right. Huh. Let's see. The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. I mean, who would? Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. Well, let's find out about Cat. I found a threatening letter signed by a certain Cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? Do. I wouldn't say that, but she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. Hmm. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. Well, we get another point. Let's see. Where do I want to put it? Could put another point in medicine. Technically amateur. Hmm. Let's build up. Start building up medicine. Can only be improved by objects discovered in the environment. Okay. So I can't. Uh, let's improve spot hidden then. Call. That. Okay. So cultism and medicine. I can base. It's a good thing I didn't. I, uh, I found out about that because yeah, if I didn't know that, that'd be uh, worth throwing me off. I'm glad I put some points in occultism at the beginning. Get inside warehouse 36. Well, they can't understand. Damn stupid idiots! Forget it. Nobody listens to us. What could have done so much damage? You can't understand. Okay, yeah, since I failed the test, I can't do it again, which, fair enough. Well. Oh, you could tell me. Who's this guy? No idea. You better keep it shut. <laughs> Boy, we don't have a clear conscience. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. 
I guess it's gonna be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. I don't give a that damn about simple. your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. And we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. Cap, she's your boss. What? You listen through keyholes. She's nope. the boss, yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make two men like you tremble. <laughs> yeah. She redid the smile at the last one who wanted to get in. I hope you had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. But he yeah. only smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> I bid you gentlemen farewell. Yes, we're gonna have to go find Cat. So I'm pretty sure I know where she is. Hello? How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. <laughs> Left the entrance unguarded, huh? Suppose... Should go around, see if there's any another way. Just don't see anything. I mean, I could try and talk to Cat. Please. Damn stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. Could try going up and around that way. Let's try the bar. Hello, what have we here? The miraculous catch. Apparently. The most significant event of the last 80 years. The uh, 21st May 1847, miraculous catch. The Scylla returns to port to save dark water from famine. We get up hope. Crew the Scylla, or what remains of it, turned to dark water port late on Tuesday afternoon. Locals immediately rushed to the docks to welcome the last whaling ship on the island. People were amazed at the sight of an unbelievable catch the brave vessel had, had on board. Of a size that went beyond that of, formid of the formidable toothed whales, the crustacean that is already being called miracu the Miraculous Catch covered the whole deck and parts of it were hanging over the side of the ship. Surviving sailors told of a frightening account of their perilous catch, but also of its meat, a match in its quality and plentiful, and plentiful nutritious benefit. There's no doubt that the immense size of this whale will allow numerous inhabitants of Darkwater to feed themselves, bringing an end to the famine from which part of the island was suffering. Let's see, warehouse for rent. Mr. Mark's putting his warehouse up for rent for June for fishing, workshop, or storage activities. You can contact him via your favorite newspaper or visit him on the docks. Stranded Whale. Celebrate the return of our brave whalers at the that the, all the staff of the Stranded Whale invite you to an exceptional and free tasting event. Come with your family or with friends to taste the miraculous catch. Each person will leave with a bottle of oil, so do not so don't hesitate. And the doctor, what did he say? What? Another break? One of those damn sailors came looking for trouble again. But he won't try again anytime soon. We gave him a good hiding. So you said to yourselves that after such a feat, you could abandon your post. It's just a little drink. We taught those guys a lesson. We'll return right after. It's just that standing guard in this alley makes your throat dry. That fool Fitzroy can't keep his dogs on a leash. I'll have to send him a more clear-cut message. I told you to beat it. Okay. Good to know. So... It shouldn't be those two. There's no way they got around me. But that means they aren't. 
there's a, a section not being covered by somebody else. So let's go around. And the game looks good. It's definitely got plenty of atmosphere. Oh. Spot hidden skill allows you to detect hidden items in close range. Once all the items are found... Okay. It looks like there's a way in under this grate. It's ladder leading up. Let's keep looking down here first. It's this. A whale vertebra. If the newspaper hmm. clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. Yeah, it'd have to be. Oh, hello. Ratchet device. Part of a, this part enables the heavy loads to be lifted and held aloft without this risk. This ratchet device seems to be usable. Imagine we'll need that to get... the door open. Let's see. I could use this old winch to lift the grating. Not ratchet. Hmm. Still missing something. Ah. Cogwheel. It should be possible to mount this cogwheel on the winch. Oh, I just learned how to use the lighter. Still something around. Hello. Ding. This handle will be perfect for the winch. Got it. All right. Let's make our way back up. Mount the rest of the gear to it. Cog. The handle. Looks like everything is in its place. All that's left is to try to turn this handle. I should be more than strong enough for this. Damn, I broke it. Hmm. Well, now, that's unfortunate. Nothing else I can do with it. Let's double check. Should have while I was up here, but... Huh. Well, that's not... I don't know if I just failed the test or if the item itself just failed. Hmm. So I can't get that open. Well, well. A little mouse has got lost on our turf. You're not only inquisitive, you're also stupid. What gave you the crazy idea to come onto my turf? Your turf? That's news to me. For a guy who has no idea, you've been doing a fair bit of poking around. My men saw you staking out the Hawkins warehouse. Is that against the law? I'm no idiot, detective. I'll tell you how things work around here. I decide who comes in and who stays out. And anyone who doesn't respect you. my rules. 
I punish them. Is your name Cat? What of it? Maybe we can come to an understanding. Maybe. That'd be handy. Or maybe not. Oh. Uh-oh. Get this Joker out of here. He might have a little trouble walking on his own. Well. Oh, I'm getting careless. I didn't see that coming. If I want to get into this warehouse, I'm going to have to deal with her. Yeah. I, uh, I think I'm going to raise my mic volume just a hair more. Okay, so, screwed that up, either didn't have enough strength, or just the mechanism broke. Hey, Mitchell, a drink for our new friend. I owe That's you. Nice. You don't know how to fight, but at least you've got guts. Yeah. Aching guts. Huh. <laughs> I've got them too. But you don't hear me whining like a pooch who's lost its leash. You didn't back down. It's something that I respect. So understand by that. If I catch you again, you'll carry a more permanent reminder of our encounter. Tell me, what brings you to Darkwater? I'm investigating the deaths of the Hawkins family. It's very nice of you to tell me the truth so openly, but it's also really stupid of you. You really don't seem to know the area. Let me give you that a little advice. That would be advice. true. If you want to survive more than a day in this rat hole, avoid talking about them to the first people you meet. Hmm. I need to get into the Hawkins warehouse. You're out of luck. It's on my turf. It's precisely for that reason that I've come to see you. Are you pulling my leg? Think it over. I've seen what you're capable of. And you didn't miss me. I accept the compliment. Well, I see you're serious. To be honest, as long as it doesn't interfere with my business, I don't care. I say but it I'll shouldn't. go with you. To make sure you don't stick your nose into things that don't concern you. Sounds Fair honest enough. to me. I'm not finished. If I do that for you, if I let you onto our turf to conduct your little affairs, you'll be indebted to me. And I guarantee that I always collect on what I'm owed. Think That's about nice. it. I help you, you'll owe me a favor in return. Do you accept? I don't have much choice on it. Do I have a choice? Oh. We always have one, detective. Follow me. Nobody questions your authority here. I was given to believe that Fitzroy stood up to you. That dope tried to save face in front of his sailors. They revere their brave captain as they do their old statues. But sooner or later, all statues get buried in bird shit. And nobody cares. And the police? Well. They do nothing to stop you? The local cops? The cops drink like everyone else, sweetheart. They know where their interests lie. Yeah. Apart from that pig-headed Bradley. I don't know whether to admire his stubbornness or to have pity on him. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. The cops. Well, they're gonna they're gonna do it at this point. You guys can keep arguing. Yeah, she is definitely the boss of this area. Question is, what else is going on? It's fine. He's with me. Oh. Okay. Can't imagine I'd be walking with her if I wasn't.
Because, yeah, I mean, he seems to be just as much, you know, happy about uh, uh, getting some drink as anybody else is. So, you know, can't imagine he'd really want to interfere that much. Be a gentleman and move that for me. <sighs> well, at least we're going to be getting inside. Oh, wow. It must have... That must have been just a way of getting around the whole thing. That's how it's done. Do I still need to hold your hand? Or do you think you'll get by on your own now? Don't overdo it. Good. In that case, I'll leave you. I've done enough mothering for now. Well, that was nice of her. Well, let's see what's in here. Oh, this place stinks. Don't like what the eerie green glow. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? Ooh, this is new? It smells as bad as it looks. Who has enough money to buy painkillers, but stays in a place like this? Hmm. That's a good question. Can't sleep. I know how that feels. Le Petit Parisien. Who might keep a news clipping about Sarah Hawkins? Hmm. Good question. What is this picture of Charles and Sarah Hawkins doing here? Hmm. Let's keep looking. Broken mirror. The glass is shattered, like someone smashed it. Was it before or after the removal of these bandages? Hmm. It's a good question. Found the hidden item already. Oh. Whoever hid it here seems to worship Sarah Hawkins. What just happened? Did I imagine? Hmm. Okay, another point. Let's take a look at the diary, see what it says. I might as well put the next point in. Um, let's boost eloquence. Oh, whoops. So validate that. Ah. Uh, bootleggers. I'm playing some. Find a partly submerged tunnel. Sure, if I was hallucinating, but as I stepped deeper into the dark waters for a moment, I was as if a creature was holding, got had caught a hold of me. Oh. Hmm. Okay, remove all the bandages. Smash the mirror. That would make the most sense. Didn't like what he saw. to be anything else in here. Uh, someone has settled in here. And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? You! Don't move! You again. I told you to stay away from this warehouse. Wound up? You mean messed up? No. We don't take no lessons from the likes of you. We do our job carefully and fairly. No stone was left unturned. Really? 
Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Wait, I know it. Let me guess. It was in the Hawkins mansion. Precisely. You can still see the burn marks. There's no doubt about it. I must admit that you seem fairly competent. But I can't allow you to stay here. I've seen enough. It's the Hawkins mansion that interests me now. Of course. That's good. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car is parked down the way. I saw it. Andrews, would you please shut the door? And open hmm. your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. That it is. God damn it. Her again. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? I thought I'd straightened you out, mister. I am disappointed, but we'll meet again. Well now. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? It's That's a large the building. Mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. Yes, and uh, mansions atop hot. Well, houses atop high cliffs are never a good thing. Particularly in Lovecraft stories. Well, one, the strange high house in the mist didn't necessarily have an, a, a, a bad ending for the person dealing with it. So, we're up to the Hawkins Mansion. Let's see what we find out. Yeah, so far, it's been good. Uh... It's definitely uh, different. Oh, since so I got the opportunity, I'm going to need to pause and take a look at something. Oh, actually, I can do that right now because it's going to ask me to hit enter when it comes along. So give me just a minute. It's loading anyway, so actually it's just about done. Make sure it doesn't jump forward. Okay, yeah. Give me just a second. Okay, I'm back. So let's enter the madness. Ooh, it looks like Cat's already widened his smile once. Ooh, don't like that. Here we are, Hawkins Mansion. It's a little spooky. And run down. Imagine it was before the fire, too. The 
place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. Uh... I see no scorched trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? Yeah. The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough as it is. Are we gonna take a closer look at this mansion, or do you have other questions? I have other questions. <laughs> He's clearly not doing any gardening. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. Uh. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else uh. you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? Uh. You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. Yeah. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? Uh. I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though, oh, that's nice. he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go. Right? Uh... Night falls quickly. Go ahead and go. And I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you. If only to reassure Silas. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. I have to keep... I have to remember that. Oh. On this way. Statue. Legend, it's got some history. Sixteen ninety three. This house is much hmm. older than it seems, but the architecture seems too recent. Interesting. Now let's catch back up. Oh. Silas isn't around, looks like. Whoops, need to hold this. Charles Hawkins' grave. Who could have done this? I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, yeah. detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. It's a strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he's devastated. Yeah. Let's go to the mansion. Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the- The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. The old caretaker must be very attached to her. Yeah, but not her husband as much. Poor kid. Hmm. Old branch, nothing particularly special. Lamp. Okay, it says same thing on the the other side.
mansion is enormous. See the lighthouse. Door's been sealed. I'll have to find another entrance. Yeah, they've definitely done pretty well setting the mood. That's for sure. Question is, how are things are is still in use. How are things gonna ramp up as it goes along? Whoa! Whoa! You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir. All right. Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them, dump them into the ocean. Whoa! Uh, uh, uh. That didn't go well. Or Mr. Winchester, lower that axe. Let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. Sarah Hawkins' father sent me here to investigate the death of his daughter. Webster, huh? I understand how he feels. But me? I want the dead to rest in peace. And that means kicking the ass of gumshoes like you. Why would you not want me to help understand what happened here? I've got nothing to hide. Tell me what you're doing here. And I no did. Baloney. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. The mansion isn't safe. You would break your neck as sure as you're trying my patience right now. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. You still put flowers on her grave. You cherish her memory. Mrs. Hawkins was an exceptional person. She cared for everyone around her. Let me shed a light on what happened to her. Give me that key. Hmm. I'm probably making a big mistake, but it won't be the first. Here, take the key and do what you have to do. Go on, then. Woo! Just to get rid of you. Huh. Let's see what more I can the learn. The terrible old man. A very different terrible old man than the one in the story, but hey. P.S. Shall we enter? Yep. At least the uh, title is appropriate, though. Let's take a look inside. I'm with you. We're in the mansion. I wonder if all... I haven't looked at the achievement list. I wonder if they're all going to be... Uh, Nice references to Lovecraft stories. Boy, thankfully we're not having to deal with the terrible old man. So. Everything we've seen so far suggests that there's absolutely nothing true about Sarah Hawkins. Uh, the, the talk about Sarah Hawkins being crazy. The there was the fire, which the caretaker you know found out about. But I have a feeling the cult is involved. The question is, did they kill the Hawkins family, or was it something else that got out of control? And why was the uh? Vases and flowers in front of Charles's grave all destroyed. That didn't get answered. He only mentioned Sarah, but it seems like um, the caretaker had a great fondness for her. Come on. 
Come along. Just about there. I think... I thought the report said the fire started in the dining room, but they said they were in the drawing room. Follow me. I know the place. Who left this light on? I got two more points. It's eloquence I can boost. Okay, it puts me about even money for all everything except for occultism and medicine. Which I need to find things to boost those. Okay, it's just the clues I've come across. I don't like the way these lamps glow, either. The Last Supper of the Hawkins. What does this tell me? Hmm. What kind of meat is this? Good question. This place is for the head of the family, Charles Hawkins. Hmm. Sounds like something. Looks like something got his attention. He got up in a hurry. Hello. The boy was probably here. Smashed his plate on the floor. He smashed his plate. Father gets angry. There's no chair here. Sarah Hawkins didn't eat. Was it because of the meat or something else? Hmm. Something happened at this table. An argument? Certainly seems like it. Boy freaked out, dropped his plate. Hard to say. Hmm. Daydreaming again. Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. Well, it's, the chair's there, so... I'd say, why is there no... Now, that is definitely... Fired some fire damage. Let's see if I can Silas find something to bring the, the fire under control. But it was already too late for the Hawkins. Hmm. They had a fight. Why? Oil lamp got smashed. Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? How? Good question. It would make sense if she'd been hit. Table legs broken, could have been knocked her back, land on the table, broke the chair let the table leg. The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the others? That's a good question. The painting was if here. If the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? That's a good question. Hello? Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? She walks in, finds him drinking. Anything else in here? Because, yeah... There's no spots that would suggest there was a body there. Hmm. Hello. Did it stop at the time of the fire? I feel like there's something else I've not seen yet. Painting that. Hmm. 
Hmm. Found all the hidden stuff. There's all the hidden stuff that my skull can detect. Oh, hello. Did someone escape the fire? Looks like it. Somebody scratched the frame. Or scratched the door on their way out. was thrown. This was no accident. This was a fight. Someone fell here. Sarah. A desperate attempt to flee. So far, makes sense. Well, hello. We here. And the boy. So, detective. What do you make of it? Ah. Much of this evidence simply contradicts the investigation's findings. Really? Tell me about it. I found a bottle of whiskey. Empty. Charles sure liked their drink. No glass. Yeah. I suspect one of them drank heavily to calm down. Charles, most probably. That's pretty thin. Who says that bottle hadn't been there for a while? I can tell where young Simon was, but not his parents. Where were their bodies found? I can't help you on that one. Charles and Sarah's bodies had already been carried away when I got here. Without your authorization? By whom? Marshal Silent. Andrews, Chief West. We never deal with cases like that, you know. Mm. So... Well... I'm sorry, Bradley. It would seem at least one person fled the crime scene. What'd you say? That mark on the door. Someone's hand slipped out there. The left side has no mark. The door was open and that someone left. For yeah. God's sake. I mean, if it's Charles or Sarah, they wouldn't have left their son. They would rather die in the flames as a family instead of calling for help? I don't buy it. Oh, yeah? I was under the impression the fire started around midnight. Yes, at Silas banged on our door around 1 a.m. Poor devil ran so hard he was almost belching his lungs out. This clock burned before 10 p.m. That's impossible. What you imply? Silas never would have hurt the Hawkins family. Besides, Dr. Fuller confirmed the hour of death in his report. Your clock must have already have stopped. It's possible. Dr. Fuller? A brilliant surgeon, and a friend of the family. I'm sure he took the matter to heart. I see no reason to doubt his word. So be it. Unless he's involved Let's in something else. I suspect this lamp caused the fire. That's what the investigation suggested, too. But does your report mention the bloodstains? The lamp didn't fall, it was thrown at someone. For heaven's sakes, no. The report doesn't mention that. Yeah. I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. Huh. What's your theory? Couple had a fight is what points to so far. I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. That's nice. It's like the point I've got. 
Let's see, what do I want to start putting into? Investigation makes the most sense. Anything that helps me figure out a little bit more. Uh, history of medicine in the 18th century. That shouldn't have taken me that long. Oh, and it's right there. Uh, holistic medicines. So at least my medicine increased a little bit. Yeah, that fire was localized. The rest of the mansion's still in pretty good condition. These bandages are covered in dried blood. But whose? Good question. The lyrics of the drunken sailor. The sea huh. shanty. Where he's heading toward an original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, dated 1818. That seems like things got a little darker after I found that original copy, original edition. That's going to be worth a pretty penny. Oh, that's nice. It's like the family. I do like the fact that um, Charles bears a similar, uh, a decent resemblance to um, Jonathan from Vampire. Hmm. Moby Dick, Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. It's appropriate for mandatory him. reading for any whaler, I guess. Table been tossed. This piano is in disrepair. Looks like the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. Oh, can only have that out for so long, I guess. I think I really need it right now, anyway. Why paint this scene? A book on the first inhabitants of the island. It seems they got here around the 14th century. It fit with what uh, they described. But yeah, the bloody bandages we found. Greek mythology. Hecate, goddess of the dead, daughter of Tartarus, and mother of Scylla. Given that we have a ship called Scylla, that's, you know, more than coincidental. I always heard it pronounced Hecate. Dark water history. This place was settled back in 1692. By two families that seceded from the New England colonies. Hmm. A book on hunting whales. The island's staple diet last century. Yeah, it sounds like they whaled themselves, got rid of all the whales in the area, too. From the looks of it. Especially considering they were in the middle of famine. One of Sarah Hawkins' paintings. Her style sure is recognizable. Yes, and... Dark, for sure. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Huh. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. Yeah. Check the next room. The upstairs from that. What could 
could Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police? Dear sir, as you know, I've always held you and your family in high respect. Unfortunately, I can no longer continue to close my eyes on the behavior of your wife. Last week, again, she, again, terrified my clientele. I know that she means no harm, but you should place her in the care of Dr. Fuller. He alone seems to be able to make her come to her senses. These disturbances were to recur. Believe me that, although I would feel it would feel like torture, I would be obliged to involve the police. Respectively, respectfully yours, Anto Anton Wellard. Hmm. That's a good question. What did she do? The fuck was that? I thought I saw something in that flash. Could just be the way this painting changed in the light, but that was, uh, not exactly a, uh, didn't exactly make me feel great. It's an eerie green glow. Locked. Hmm. Ooh. It's like kid's room. Wonderful Wizard of Oz. The boy's room. Hmm. A child's fort. What threat was Simon protecting his world? Yeah, it's all the soldiers are facing out from it. Tom Sawyer, Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Hmm. Oh, he was dreaming of monsters, faceless people. Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11 year old boy. What yeah. was wrong with this family? Clearly. Was a. What nightmarish a vision nightmares. could have inspired them? Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something yeah. terrified him. Still something hidden. Little spider webs. All well, the drawings are gone. See the hidden object. The argument that led to their tragic end seems to have been simmering for some time. Seven, Simon's private journal, he seemed worried about his mother and her attacks. Tension also seemed to be growing between the Hawkins couple. Could the fire be the result of an argument? Hmm. Markings on the back of the painting. Well, several of them have it. Something hidden in the area. Take a look. Okay, I'm out of the range of it. Whatever it is. Let's take a look around the frames. What I just heard. I don't like it. Is that the book? Oh, hello. Key. I feel like this is the key to this door. Yep. Okay. 
Let's see what's in here. Oh. Cult circle. The painting easel. She was painting something within the... Within the circle. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? What was she trying to achieve? Hmm. It's a good question. Messed up bust. Similar to the portrait we found. Nothing. This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. Uh, exhibition. Hmm. Five hundred dollars was returned. Huh. The Shambler. Paying for Doctor F treatment. Hmm. It seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. Good question. Despite what happened, they seem to have loved each other. Yeah, so the question is what changed. door is blocked on the other side. Yeah. Bradley? Is that you? Oh, I don't like that. Let's check this door. What will her room reveal about her? Just because I don't like whatever's going on out there. Barbiturates. Huh. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. Yeah. Would be pretty extreme. Nothing behind that. Oh, I can pick locks. This padlock is too complicated for me. Hmm. Thankfully, I found the key. So. Hmm. Doors hinged open both ways. Whew. Rest my hand for a second. Okay. Something opened the door. We see the scratch marks along it. And all along this way, I don't like this. Oh boy. More canvases. There's anyone there? Could it be Charles? He smashed his own flowers. Lanterns in him. What was that? I like the fact I can hear all the little sounds now. It's an awful lot like me. Cultist. You stop. Which way to go? Bradley, did you see which way he went? Who? I didn't see anyone. I just heard some noise. Are you all right? A man was hiding on the upper level. 
He ran when he saw me. He can't be far. Ooh. I don't know what that symbol means. I'll cover you. Okay. It's fuel for, for the lantern. This door was closed earlier. Yeah. Got his light, so I'm not concerned with the lamp, but at least I've got it now. Where did he go? Must have got out some way. No, no, he was here. I'm sure. Let's search this room. Hmm. I got a few more points to dole out. Uh, da da da. Got four to give. think spread the love a little bit as if the bookcase has been moved several times yeah bookcase most likely opens I gotta check that just yet Something like this came from a log Monday 24th May 1847 42 north 70 west Darkwater Island Sailed north all morning. Captain Hamilton is confident. He says that we may beat, that we'll beat the Orpheus this season. May God be merciful. Sunday, 30th, May 1847, 47 North, 55 West. I preferred it when the whales dis disappeared without trace. With these carcasses, we can no longer ignore their sad fate. Was eating these huge beasts. Told Hamilton there was a bad omen. He doesn't care. Tuesday, 1st June, 1847. 49 North, 61 West. We dropped anchor near a village. The inhabitants say that the waters are red with the blood of the sacred beasts. And to follow them is to defy the gods. I told them that I only feared God Almighty, but in the loneliness of the hold, I'm scared. In the loneliness of the hold, I'm scared. Friday, 4th June, 1847. 57 North, 51 West. We sighted a huge whale in distance. Its size seemed to be beyond anything known to man. Sends out an infernal song. Hamilton wants it. Wednesday, 23rd June, 1847. 33 North, 53 West. We caught it. It's the most grotesque whale I've ever laid eyes upon. It will go into memory as the biggest catch ever. Men have died, but we gained glory. This day will be celebrated for years to come. Tuesday, 29th, 18, June, 1847. Darkwater. We've beaten the Orpheus, returned with empty holds. The Scylla and Hamilton are the our only memories. Is that when the Scylla crashed? It looks like an old seaway map. Yeah. Looks like the navigational paths described in the log. Nothing there. Or medicines, it looks like. Oh, oil. Feels can be found throughout the level. There's something hidden. Runes. They look like Celtic runes. Charles must have brought them back from one of his foreign trips. Clearly. Charles Hawkins knew Captain Fitzroy very well. Yeah. Huh. What are the third I wonder who is. the man with the glasses is in the photograph. Probably another friend of Hawkins. It looks like a freehand map of dark water. Certain areas have been highlighted. I wonder why. It's a good question. The Scylla. It's the boat that was stranded at the entrance to the harbor. This panel is movable. Oh. Cogwheels. They must be linked to an opening mechanism. Probably a secret passage. I must find a way to activate the opening mechanism. Not gonna force the be better ears. off not touching them for the moment. Yes. 
That's when you need to strip the gears. There's something hidden. I saw that. Ha! There you are. This Dr. Fuller. Was he Sarah Hawkins' therapist? Charles, I understand your worries, but I assure you that Sarah is in good hands here at Riverside Institute. It goes without saying that her state requires very specific care and a high level of attention. Her full potential will only be able to express itself if she is placed in a secure environment and surrounded by qualified staff. The decision is yours, of course, but I seem to understand that you are running out of time. Your friend, Thomas Fuller. This globe seems to have been part of some mechanism. Yeah. What was... <laughs> Doesn't work. There must be a link with the Seaway map. Uh... 33 North, 53 West. Yep. Looks like it worked. Makes sense, Spot. They caught it. Another team. Well done, Pierce. This globe opens secret passage. Have you seen the old maritime maps on Charles Hawkins' desk? Strange. No ship has left Darkwater's shore for years. Maybe he kept them for sentimental reasons. Charles Hawkins was a sort of traveler, right? More like an adventurer, I guess. He left for months. Exploring remote places and abandoned temples. Hmm. Which is what he finds. You've seen the old maritime maps. Okay. Charles yeah. Hawkins' desk. Strange. No ship has left Darkwater's shore for years. I have a feeling he came into contact with something. The question is what? Oh boy. Tunnels under the Hawkins mansion. Well now. Question is, what is down here? I think though, given the time I'm probably going to wrap this up here. It seems like a good spot. We'll see what uh, happens after the chapter loads. Um, but yeah, this has been uh, uh, very interesting, for sure. The, the game looks good. It sounds good. Um, it The fact that it uses kind of that the same system that's called Cthulhu RPG, the tabletop RPG did, is uh great um the uh uh story's been good so far the puzzles have what we've run across have made sense been finding the objects or in this case like the globe you know it was figuring out the coordinates which was easy enough all the clues were there um yeah, this has been very interesting so far. Let's uh, see what happens at the start of this. The secret passage under the manor. It's like a detective novel. So yeah, I think we're going to call that it for now. It seems like a good spot to call it. Um, I've got some other things to do around here and everything, so... And hopefully... We don't run into uh, everybody's favorite great old one that we see here in that background image. Um, but thank you guys all for watching. Those of you who caught it live here on Twitch, those of you who made this far and on YouTube. Um, I'll most likely end up doing some late night stuff for this tonight. I, I want to d uh, spend more time with this, and I want to really dig into it. Um, so yeah, I don't know exactly when tonight, but most likely there'll be some something late night for this. Um, 
as always, I appreciate likes, follows, subscribes. Every little bit you guys do helps grow the channel a bit more, especially here on Twitch. My Twitter account, at Link6413, is probably the best place to catch what I'm playing and when I'm playing it. I always tweet before I go live. There's always links to the YouTube channel when a new video goes up. Um, and it's always nice to have something in case Twitch notifications are a little funny. But thank you guys all once again. Hope you all have a great day and take care. Bye.